It was only just light at the end of the night when Mary was on her way. She hadn't a clue about the things she would do or the things she would see on that day. As she peered through the gloom to the door of the tomb, the stone had been rolled away. Well, she turned round and ran. She just didn't understand the things she was seeing that day. Peter and John, what have they done? They've taken his body away. Please come at once. Come and make sense of the things I am seeing today. And when they looked in, there were rags long and thin and the cloth that had cradled his head. But no body was there. As they looked, as they stared, a space in this place of the dead. Well, the men, they went back and Mary just sat weeping with nothing to say. A man came along and asked, what is wrong? Who are you looking to see on this day? Sir, tell me, where is he? Where is his body? Have you taken him somewhere to lay? But the man just said, Mary? She looked, thought, it can't be Jesus alive on this day. Well, she had to tell others, his disciples, his brothers, what was she going to say? I've seen him alive. I saw with my eyes, believe what I've seen on this day. Well, to prove it to them, it happened again. It was later that very same day. They were hiding in fear when Jesus appeared and their fear as they looked ebbed away. He showed them his hands. He showed them his side. Joy now displaced their dismay. There now was no doubt, no question about the things they were seeing that day. But Thomas was not in that place, in that spot. He hadn't been able to see. So he doubted the truth. He needed some proof of the things they were seeing that day. But Jesus again came to those men. Now Thomas could use his own eyes. On his knees he adored and worshipped his Lord, who'd been dead and was now here alive. And we can believe, though we have not seen, let's worship and love and obey. Through their words we can read, through their eyes we can see the things that they saw on that day.